Pleasant good day, fans. Fans, this is the next edition of the Ghostly Take on Sports Fanatic News. Joe Bora, continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content or up above on the easy to use widget. Well, let's get right into it on the Lehigh Valley Phantoms. Garrett Melkoff had a fantastic debut. A twenty funny tweet, excuse me, from Tony Androkis. He was ready to rent cars when he was with the Utah Grizzlies to get to his next game. Uh, got a loss. Uh, his agent texted him, sorry for the loss, but you're heading to Lehigh Valley. The great Tony Androck is tweeting that story. Follow him. Check him out for sure. They also stocked up on other people named Garrett as uh, Tony made that fun um, joke where they have signed Garrett McFadden to an AHL deal and assigned him to the Reading Royals. Uh, McFadden did appear in four AHL games with Laval in 17-18 after an OHL career uh, with golf where Tony reports that he was the two-year team captain. So obviously he has good leadership roles, good locker room instincts, and those are guys that you love to have on your squad. And he had been at Acadia University the past four years in youth sports, which to sum it up the best is usually considered the NCAA equivalent um, in Canada. So uh, I think this is a good addition. You can never have enough good defensemen, obviously. And for Reading, it is a blessing help because Mike Crocock to protect his ECHL playing right uh, was just put in suspension and then they had to move on from David Drake for the future considerations to finish that trade for Patrick McNally. So that actually really helps the Reading Royals at the double A level and it's also going to help the Lehigh Valley Phantom with more uh, depth on defense just like a guy like Ryan McKinnon who switches between two levels does. But on the other news before we get into just going over how spectacular uh, Garrett Malkoff was in his debut. In other news, Zane McIntyre signs a two-year deal, one of the best in 2021 season with the fans. I was kind of surprised he didn't bring him around again, but I guess it was because of the good young goaltending we have, and now we brought in other veterans like Mel Koff, um, an ECHL guy that's been in the league for a couple years there and had success. I think it was two with the Grizzlies and had success, and now because up to the AHL level and had success. But Zane, the brick wall McIntyre, signs a two-way contract with the Wild and will now play for the Iowa Wild and potentially the Minnesota Wild if he ends up getting in a game if, say, Talbot and or Kockanen, uh end up going down. But um, let's get into now the very good debut of Garrett Melkoff. Well, <clears throat> first things first, I mean, I'm always going to be excited for a kid when he comes in from the ECHL level and immediately uh, makes the mark uh, to the level of of what Melkoff was able to do. He only let in one goal, uh, 26 for 25. Some of those saves were big money saves as well. Uh, the Phantoms, I think, played a good overall game. Don't get me wrong, but uh, they still gave up some big money chances, just like they did the last game against Bridgeport in this game, uh, particularly in that second period when they played a little bit of a sloppy period in that second period against Bridgeport. And that's when I really saw Garrett Melkoff shine. And then Lehigh... Um, did play better in the third period, and then obviously uh, Lehigh was the team to get the winning goal on a smart play by Adam Glendening to pot his fourth to continue to go and shoot rather than look to pass to Hodgson, or I believe it was also Cal, who was tracking back on that play. So overall, fantastic debut for Garrett Melkaff. Um, they also pick up Garrett McFadden. It's stocking up on the Garretts, as Tony Androkis would say. And former goaltender Zane McIntyre gets another contract. Kudos, claps up to him for going with the Iowa Wild, wishing him all the success. Or maybe even the Minnesota Wild, too, is their taxi squad keeper. We'll have to see. Peace out, everybody. Stay safe. Have a good day. And continue to subscribe down below if you enjoy the content. Peace.